will have the opportunity to work with various members of our transplant pharmacy team. This team will work closely with your transplant doctors and nurses to make sure that you understand your care action plan after transplant. This care action plan or routine will include taking three common transplant medications called immunosuppressants that keep your body from rejecting your new kidney, as well as medications to prevent infections before and after your transplant. Our team will make sure you have appropriate access to your transplant medications and have good medication management strategies. After we place the new kidney in your body, your body's normal response will be to recognize this kidney as foreign and try to attack and destroy it. We must give you immunosuppressive or anti-rejection medications to lower your body's ability to recognize and attack this new kidney. There are three common immunosuppressive medications that we usually give patients after transplant, tacrolimus, mycophenolate, and prednisone. It is very important that you take these medications every day for the rest of your life. The success of your transplant depends on it. Tacrolimus is typically taken twice a day, 12 hours apart. This medication requires frequent lab monitoring to determine the right dose for you. Mycophenolate is also taken twice a day, 12 hours apart, while prednisone is typically taken once a day in the morning. Your prednisone dose is decreased by your doctor over several weeks. Because every patient is different, we will need to make several medication changes early after your transplant. We want to find the right balance of medications for you to prevent rejection and not cause you harm. We know that too much medication can increase your risk of side effects and infections. At the same time, if we don't give you enough medication, this can increase your risk of kidney rejection. Therefore, it's very important and careful balancing act that we must make with the medications after your transplant. Like any medication, the immunosuppressants that you will take can cause some side effects, but everybody responds to them differently. Your transplant team will work with you to determine if any of these medications are problematic for you. Please let us know if any cause side effects that are bothersome. After your transplant, you may also need to take other medications, including acid-reducing medications to prevent stomach ulcers, pain medications depending on how you feel after surgery, blood pressure and blood sugar lowering medications if your levels become elevated, vitamins and supplements if your magnesium or phosphorus levels become low, and because the anti-rejection medications put you at higher risk of developing infections, you will also take antibacterial and antiviral medications, like Bactrim for bacterial infections and Famvir or Valcite for viral infections. The antibacterial and antiviral medications we use to prevent infections depend on your potential allergies and personal risks of developing an infection. If you have any pre-existing conditions that require medications, such as thyroid disorders, depression, or mood disorders, you will continue these medications after your transplant. If any other doctor suggests starting or stopping any medications, it is important to let your transplant team know first so that they can make sure these medication changes are safe for you. This includes any over-the-counter medications, herbal products, and natural medications. They can interact with your transplant medications, affect your immune system, or even damage your kidneys. Therefore, it is important that we are always informed of your medications and supplements that you will be taking after your transplant. After your transplant, we will provide you with several tools to help you succeed in managing your medications, like these medication card and pill box provided before you leave the hospital. This medication card is used to help you organize your medications and make note of any medication changes after lab tests. The pill box is used to organize your medications and can help confirm that you took your medications for the day. Additional medication reminder and management tools can include a personalized sheet to keep track of your medication doses and vital signs, a vibrating smartwatch or smartphone, a phone with alarms, an electronic alarmed pillbox, or a phone app such as MediSafe or Transplant Hero. These apps can organize your medication list, send you reminders, and also send loved ones reminders if you need someone to help remind you. 
After a transplant, the success of your transplant is highly dependent on you. It's extremely important to go to all your appointments and lab tests so we can ensure that you are on the correct dosage of your medications. Bring your updated medication list to all appointments so that we know of any medication changes any of your doctors made, and so you can write down any changes that occur during your visit. We encourage you to keep in contact with us so that we are informed of any changes in your health or your medications. Most importantly, you must take your medications every single day as instructed. These medications are truly the key to success after your transplant. I encourage you to think of ways to incorporate these medications into your daily routine so they are easy to remember. For example, if you need to take a medication every morning, a way that can help you remember is to take it every morning after you brush your teeth.